We got rotational, glide, discus, analyze, video submitted. Check it out. So this week we have a rotational shot putter from India, a glider from China. We have two discus throwers, one from the US and one from England. So the whole point of today's video is going to be quick analysis. If you're interested in a detailed analysis, click the link below. We go way more into depth and it's much longer. For the sake of today, what we wanna do is point out again some of those common mistakes, help you guys see the important critical details in the throw. It's great to watch some of the best throwers in the world because you can see what great technical models are, but it's also great to look at people that are in the process of development so that you can relate and see that the struggles they're going through and maybe many of those things are going to be the same things you're going through. So let's dive into today's video. Okay, next up we have Battle of the Lefties. We have Sam from India and we have ZJ from Inner Mongolia, China. We have a rotational thrower lefty versus a left-handed glider. So we're going to look at Sam's video first. One of the couple things you're going to notice is that Sam, when we play it in full speed, Sam is really working on that speed and momentum of the entry arm to create that rotational speed and pull him into the ring. Now, you're gonna look that it becomes so rotational that he's missing the lower body action. It needs to be lengthened, so he needs to be working on getting it longer. You're gonna see how he kind of gets the body on this kind of an angle, and he needs to stay in a sprint and keep the hips under him. Here, you can see how the hips kind of push, so as we make that transition to his pillar four, you're gonna notice that he needs to stay longer. So if you were to look at somebody like Tom Walsh, we'd see that arm way over here. This leg would be out even wider, so Tom Walsh moves really long, and it would, in my opinion, this looks like he's trying to move kind of like that. And so what you would see is as he transitions here, those hips kind of float. They need to be underneath them. He does a pretty good job of re-wrapping, but you see how the hips and everything are this way. And so the as everything comes, comes into the throw, he's kind of backing in a little bit. He's gonna really work that block arm, bounce arm, and as he pulls, he's got a decent position, but you can see how his shoulders are sitting back and his, his delivery foot, the left, had stopped moving. And so because of that, now he's in his pillar five, right? There's no movement of, the, of that left side, and that needs to be moving here, right? Even if they're moving together, but that is kind of trailing behind. So now he's going to wind up pulling his block side a little too far. It's not bad, but you can see how he's way off the his delivery leg too early. And you're going to be able to see, right, the shot's still in his hand. He's pretty much off that foot. That's not necessarily bad, but right here, there's a slight stop in the rotation, right? He gets here and you just don't see it and then it doesn't really rotate it just kind of pushes it needs to be rotating the hip to get more into the throw now let's look at z he had sent in uh, a couple of weeks both these guys had sent in multiple weeks ago so i selected them so again if you guys are submitting videos and you don't uh, see your video this week doesn't mean you're not going to get pulled up so keep submitting because that moves you to the top of the list so at any rate z is here he's a lefty uh, again, this is really the best view to send for your gliders. He, here he basically comes in. I like his start. He comes over. He's a little more rounded than I would want, but that's not bad, and that can be a style thing. But here's where we see the issue. I like how he's kind of setting up here. He's he's just getting kind of a more traditional glide start. As he pulls in, we want to see the hip drop and so that's going to load that drive leg right and this is what we would recall to as our pillar three four in the glide and so he's going to drop and slide out the kick leg but instead he just kind of unseats and then he's got kind of a okay kick decent extension but he's already come off so now he's not pushing till right here right because he's kind of fallen in and what that's going to do is start the whole shift early into his delivery so that's going to cause a problem and you're going to see right here so as he gets into five when you guys can't get that de that delivery leg pulled underneath you in the glide that typically means your hips have already gotten too far ahead so now it's harder to pull under you if your hips stay more on top and you push together everything comes together it's easier to pull the delivery leg under you so now you can see here that he's shifting too far forward he's i like the way he kind of gets you know this is i could see opening just a little bit more in his pillar five so you see him shift he, he fell out of three fell through four doesn't have the push or the kick that he needs creates shift in pillar five and now you're going to see he's way off the ground and he's trying to push 
And again, this is a shot put ring without a tow board. So he's, he's coming through and he's got a nice movement through the finish, but he didn't get nearly enough push. And so he's losing his right leg right there. He's got all that, sorry, his left leg. He's moving that, he's got all that push and he's losing a ton of distance. So the thing that we're gonna recommend for him is that he needs to really focus on right here. He's got a drop, his chest is always down. I'd start with the chest a little bit higher, drop the chest and the hip together to load his left leg. So that way he can get a big punch and a more aggressive kick. We always say drive and kick. We're gonna be punching and kicking. It's gonna be, in his case, left, right, left, right, right? And it's gonna be really aggressive on both so that he can get that big punch and that big extension. That's gonna help him pull this under him more. He's gonna get that here. He does a nice job of staying on the toe, but now the shot's gonna be here and right, and his foot's gonna be here. So he's gonna be able to work the ground longer because when he shifts into the block, which everybody's gonna do, he's gonna have that in a better position so there's more time on the delivery leg, which is gonna result in more distance. All right, guys, so for our final comparison, we have Noah versus Josh. Noah's from the US, Josh is from Southampton, England, and we're gonna go through now. Josh is also throwing, he's 19, he's throwing a 2K. I believe Noah here is around 16, he's self-coached, he's throwing the 1.6. But let's look at, we're gonna kind of sync up these throws. You're gonna see clearly, um, little difference in position. Now, here's the thing. I think Noah's done a heck of a great job. He's cause says he's coaching himself. And Josh, I'm not sure Josh's coaching situation, good movement on both throwers. I like the entry. The thing that I want to see is, here's a subtle thing, right? Noah looks like he's doing a little bit of, he's got that Ola kind of influence a little bit. He looks like he's moving a little similar. I like it, that's a, that's a good technical model. He comes around, the sweep leg is a little passive and the left arm needs to be lengthened. Okay, so this is where we would call our pillar one, our pillar two. He's, I like the way he's moving the whole left side. Now watch, here's a subtle thing. We look at Josh, look at him shift. You see that shift? So he shifts the hip and the knee before he's turning the foot. The foot, the knee, and the hip all need to move together as we move into that pillar uh, two, three. Okay, so now he's in his pillar three. He's getting a little bit more of this pendulum. I like the position here, but both guys have some interesting things going on. You can see how Noah's knees kind of collapsed in. So he's kind of got his knee down his foot. He needs to have the knee open and that would open the foot too. So I would say be thinking more about leading with the inside of the knee. I like that he kind of opens the left arm kind of late. You see how it kind of stretches here? So it's a good thing that he's stretching, but he needed to start that earlier. That's what I was referring to, that he needs to stay a little longer and reach with the left. Whereas where I thought Josh was doing a really nice job getting the left around. Now, when we go to the rewrap, both of them have some different things. This is where style comes in. I think both throwers are doing a pretty nice job of keeping the foot in the right spot, but you notice Noah lands here. He's landing at about, uh, that foot touches down right there, probably about three o'clock, and Josh's is only at about maybe 2.30. If we looked at somebody like Dickers or Stahl, you would see both of these guys landing with their foot. They might touch down a little before, but by the time they load it, their foot is facing 12 o'clock. So both of these guys kind of get down on it. You can see Josh rotating it a little bit better here. His rewrap, he kind kind of folds across a little bit. And then you see, I like again how um, Noah gets that kind of stretch, but you can see his foot kind of floats. The left floats a little bit, this goes up. And so even though his, I like where he's loaded here, but he stops rotating and you see how he comes off of the right. So he does a nice job blocking. He pulls the head, which we don't want to be pulling through the finish like that. And then when we look at Josh, he's got a little bit of a shift. So this rewrap is kind of pulling his shoulders back a little bit, and then he shifts his hips so he kind of settles, so he's trying to get on those legs, but his hips have moved, it's a close position. And you can see right here, see how he's like off of the right and he's almost dragging his toe as he comes through. What I like is how he's he's really got a nice outward motion, he's not jumping up in the air. And Noah, you can see, kind of pulls that head in a similar way. Uh, Josh stops his arm, both of them block the, the block side quite well, but both of them are kind of pulling away instead of chasing the discus, that's why you want your right side moving around. So Noah, is, the suggestion is gonna be we're going to we're going to want to get this sweep just cleaned up a touch so that the sweep keeps coming around and he lands in the middle and you can see Josh 
is kind of, like I said, same thing. He's kind of landed a little early. He needs to get this around to 12. And let's just look at these guys really fast and see what happens when we will look in full speed. Okay, so you can see, you can see the rhythm again. Josh is going to be younger guy. He's going to keep adding size and strength so he can start moving this faster. And Noah's working that 1.6, which he's going to be able to work faster. Both of them have pretty good entry sides, but you can see that one little shift, and that's where you're going to see a little differences right here, right? There's both got the, he's going a little too high. He's coming flatter, and you see how that pulls around both of them again. Pretty solid finishes. Both throwers moving well, but we're going to give the nod to Josh on this one. And Noah, you want to keep turning a little longer through that finish. Be patient. You're trying to hit it. And sometimes you do just have to be conscious of working that right foot a little longer. So then you time up the upper body sequence of the lower body sequence a little better. And Josh, we want to again work on that rewrap. You want to start right here out of the back and work on that hip shift and turn the foot, knee, and hip as a unit versus shifting. All right, everybody. So I thanks again for watching. Remember, if you really want to go in depth, check out a link below in the description for video analysis and check out information on the throwing chain reaction system. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you on the next video.